This is Master Geo here with uh, Aaron Locasio at New York Comic Con on Saturday. How are you doing, Aaron? I'm doing great. So how's Comic Con been treating you? Comic Con's been treating us really good. Um, this is my first year exhibiting. Um, I've been coming to New York Comic Con for about eight years, uh, but first year exhibiting, and it's been great. We've had a lot of good feedback, getting commissions, sketches. Um, we've been really busy here. Um, it's a really good crowd. Everyone's been really awesome. We're having a really good time. All right. Uh, any any exciting stories so far here at Comic Con? No exciting stories so far. I did have somebody steal prints yesterday, oh, so that was fun. Um, my boys over here they went to a signing and I was left alone, so okay. someone took two of our prints while I was getting it for it. So that was I guess that's exciting, but not in a good way. Yeah, that sounds kind of shitty. No, actually. so don't steal prints, people. That's not that's nice. Up. No. So what have you been? Uh, what are some of your like prints you've been working on? Um. So I did five okay. to come out with this convention. Um, I did the Spider-Gwen that's right over here, Batman Superman. I did the Daredevil fight scene, which is over here. And the zombie Batman was the last one. All started out as sketches, I inked them, then I brought them into Photoshop and drew over them with my Cintiq and I paint in Photoshop for those. Uh, how does an idea come up for you and you then you decide, oh, I'm gonna draw this or that? Um, I usually take characters I like first. Okay. Um, Spider Gwen, I have like a big connection with. I love that story. Uh, Batman, I've loved since I was a little kid, so I draw a lot of Batman. Um, Daredevil, I fell in love with that series and that scene. I'm I work in TV production, so watching that cinematography, it was just incredible. So I just took a screen grab and I was like, I have to draw this. I have to paint this. It's just something that creatively inspires me, a character story I connect to. Those are usually the things I look for. If someone doesn't pull out request somebody. I get a lot of requests for like the same characters. So it is nice when somebody like somebody asked me to draw Spawn and Scorpion and I was like, oh that's a new one. I don't get that. I was like I always get Batman, I always get Superman, I always get Spider-Man. Like it's fun to get new people I haven't tried to draw yet. I like to be challenged. Like I've drawn Batman and Spider-Man I think like a hundred times. <laughs> well <laughs> Which I, I love doing but <laughs> obviously you're a big Spider Gwen fan as I am. am I. What draws you about that character so much? Um I think I've always liked Gwen Stacy and I think they did something really interesting bringing her in it's like okay what if she was Spider-Man instead of Peter Parker what if he he was the one that she lost instead and I think they did that in a really compelling way I think she's a really interesting character that a lot of like young girls can connect to like she's a strong female character in the way that she's smart and creative and she's a drummer I like that she's musically musically inclined I can't talk today um, but I just find her character in general just really like like how she deals with loss and how she goes about being a superhero and coming to terms with being a superhero I find that whole story really inspiring so I connect to her a lot so in that loss and how you deal with coping with loss so are you curious what they're gonna do now that she's coming into the regular Marvel Universe I am yeah it's I am a little behind on my comics, but I am, I'm really excited to see what they do with her. I've liked what they've done so far. I love Robbie Rodriguez's art. I like Jason Latour's writing. I think they're both incredible, and I think it's a really good matchup between the two of them. So there can only be good things. So I want to incorporate her more, and I hear Silk's really good. I hear Spider-Woman's a really good title, too. So we've got a lot of great female-led titles by Marvel So and in the Spider-Verse, so I'm really excited to read all of them. So what are you reading currently? Um, I'm reading, I read a lot of Batman, but uh, I'm reading DC Bombshells, I'm reading Captain Marvel, The, the Cow Corpse, I'm reading that one right now, um, Spider-Gwen, of course, um, picked up Amazing Spider-Man, I picked up Wicked and the Divine, I just picked up Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn, which I'm excited to read, um, what else am I reading? Gotham Academy I've been reading for a little while. A lot of a lot of the Batman titles, Batman Eternal. I was reading any of the Batman-led titles. I pretty much read. Um, I was reading Grayson for a little while. I think I might pick it back up. I go like in swings with things like Batgirl, the new Batgirl, Batgirl Burnside. I love that one. Babs Tar is amazing. I love her art. Um, yeah, I've been reading a lot of those titles. When did you start getting into comic books? I since I was a kid. Um, the Batman animated series was what got me into comics. I was five or six when that came out. So I was like, who's Batman? And I was like, I need to keep watching this show. So my dad used to take me to the library when I was a kid and I found out Batman was a comic. And I was like, oh, it's a comic. So I started reading detective comics first in the library and I got really into it from there. 
And so I just kept going with it. So I've been into comics, I think, since, yeah, since I was a kid, like five, six years old. Much like me. So when did a... <laughs> <laughs> I've been reading comics Long since I was a kid. Yeah. That, probably my earliest memories of reading is reading comic books. Yeah. Um, I used to read those in, like, all the Archie comics, too, because I was really into Sonic the Hedgehog, and okay. I learned that that was a comic, too. Anything I found out that was actually a comic was a book. I started reading at a really young age. My sister's only a little bit older than me, so I learned how to read when I was, like, two and a half. Okay. So I just started reading, and I could read full chapter books by the time I was, like, four. Okay. So even now, like, I just read Ready Player One. I finished that in a day and a half, and it's, oh. like, 300... 70 something pages I'll like if I'm into a book like I'll right, just digest right, right. it so comics I'll like fly through them like I can go through like a full like box like I'm like oh okay that'll take wow. me like two days like wow. I like but the thing with comics is like you can appreciate the art yes. and read the stories again and you can come back to it so I like to collect them so I have them I'm a big person that collects paper comics not digital ah, okay. so I, I actually like to own all the comics I will not buy them uh, if someone gives like gifts me yes. them digitally I'll read them or if I just want to check something out like, that's how I got into Hawkeye, actually. A friend recommended me. I'm like, I don't know if I'd really be into this. Like, no, 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 you'll love this. I promise you, you'll love it. I'm like, okay. And he gifted me the first volume. And I'm like, I don't want it online. And he's like, no. So he gave it to me online. I loved it. And I bought all of it immediately. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way with digital media, whether it's books or comics or even movies. Yeah. I, I like owning the... I like yeah. owning the physical copy. Yeah, all exactly. About owning it and having it in my hands. <laughs> so when did you start drawing? Um, I've been drawing since I was a little kid, too, okay. probably about five or six also. Okay. Um, I think I've been, yeah, since I was like, again, around the same time. I used to be really into Disney and cartoons, I still am into Disney, but um, I started drawing since then, since I was like five, six years old, and I just kept going with it. Um, I was an art student for a little while, and then I moved into film, but I still draw and do commissions and little projects on the side and I work with Chris on a lot of stuff and just doing art prints and poetry and stuff like that so it's a lot of fun I have a lot of creative freedom just doing a freelance style um, so it's really fun for me to keep going with it <laughs> all right any final words um, I don't know well where can people check you out oh that's probably good final words, right? Um, you can check me out. I have an art page, ErinLocasioArt.com, or Instagram, TheLocaBat. So you can check me out on either of those. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much.